Vinukovo International Airport Russian, Mezdunarodnij Aeroport Vinukovo IPA, Vinuk IATA, VKO, ICAO, UUWW, is a dual runway international airport located 28 km 17 miles southwest of the center of Moscow, Russia. It is one of the four major airports that serve Moscow, along with Moscow Domodedovo Airport, Sheremetyevo International Airport, and Zhukovsky International Airport. In 2015, the airport handled 15.82 million passengers, representing an increase of 24% compared to the previous year. It is the third busiest airport in Russia. History Vinukovo is Moscow's oldest operating airport. It was opened and used for military operations during the Second World War, but became a civilian facility after the war. Its construction was approved by the Soviet government in 1937, because the older Kodinka Aerodrome located much closer to the city center, but closed by the 1980s was becoming overloaded. Vinukovo was opened on 1 July 1941. During the Great Patriotic War, it was used as a military airbase. Passenger services started after the war. On 15 September 1956, the Tupolev Tu-104 jetliner made its first passenger flight from moscow vinukovo to Irkutska via OMSK. On 4 November 1957, a plane carrying Romanian Workers' Party officials, including the most prominent politicians of Communist Romania, Gheorghe Gorghio Dej, Chivu Stoica, Alexandru Mogioros, Stefan Wojtek, Nicolae Ceaușescu, Leonte Rautu, and Grigor Prietesa, was involved in an accident at Vinukovo Airport. Prietesa, who was Minister of Foreign Affairs at the time, was killed, as was the aircraft's crew. Several others were seriously injured. The first passenger flights of the IL-18 Moscow to Alma Ata on the 20th of April 1956 and Tu-114 Moscow to Khabarovsk on the 24th of April 1961 were also made from Vinukovo Airport. In 1980, Vinukovo was expanded because of the 22nd Summer Olympic Games. In 1993, Vinukovo Airport became a joint stock company. A massive reconstruction and strategic development program commenced at Vinukovo International in late 2003, following the transfer by the federal government of the controlling stake in the airport to the government of Moscow. As part of the airport strategic development plan, the following projects were completed between 2003 and 2005. April 2004, new Terminal B was opened. The terminal currently handles international passengers but in the future, it will be converted to handle domestic flights or to fulfill any other dedicated functions to be determined at a later date. The terminal's total floor space offering stands at 80,000 square meters 861,000 feet too, allowing for an annual passenger throughput capacity of 4 million. August 2005, Vinukovo's AeroExpress rail link to Kievsky Rail Terminal was opened. December 2010, new Terminal A was opened. Vinukovo is Europe's busiest airport for international flights by larger private planes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location and capacity. Of the three Moscow airports, Vinukovo is the highest, 204 meters (669 feet) above sea level. Hence, in case of fog, it has frequently served as an alternative airport. The airfield has two intersecting runways of 3,500 meters (11,500 feet) and 3,060 meters (10,040 feet) in length. Each runway is 60 meters (200 feet) wide, with 10 meters (33 feet) wide safety shoulders on each side. The joint runway capacity is 60 aircraft movements per hour. Runway 24 is mostly used for departures, while runway 01 for landings. The airport has two passenger terminals, Terminal A and Terminal B, one general aviation terminal for charter and business flights, one cargo terminal, and 60 aircraft stands. The airport can handle a maximum of 10,100 passengers per hour, and 4,000 people are employed there. In 2013, the airport handled almost 11.18 million passengers, representing a 15.3% increase compared to 2012. 
In February 2014 the airport handled 722,500 passengers, an increase of 23.8% compared to February 2013, partly attributed to expansion by UTER. Vinukovo Airport is equipped with a VIP hall, which is used by many political leaders and important people visiting Russia. The Russian president also uses Vinukovo's VIP facility. The Tupolev airliner rework facility is located at the edge of the airport, and major overhaul and modification programs are carried out in several large aircraft hangars. On the northern perimeter of the airport, the government VIP transport wing is located, operating head of state flights for high-ranking government officials. Thus, the airport is occasionally closed for regular flights when VIP flights arrive or depart. Further expansion The prospective development program is intended to last until the year 2015, and is aimed at transforming Vinukovo International into a highly competitive air transportation hub of international significance, one that would offer a comprehensive range of quality services to both its passengers and its tenant carriers. A new International Passenger Terminal A will have a total floor space of 250,000 square meters, 2,700,000 square feet, and passenger throughput capacity of 7,800 passengers per hour, making a total capacity of 18 to 20 million passengers annually. This will open up a plethora of opportunities for the tenant airlines to expand and radically improve the quality of their customer service at the airport and ensure the introduction of international quality service and comfort overall. The sprawling terminal building will be located on the site of the existing domestic passenger terminal, and will also serve as a springboard for the subsequent development of the entire adjacent landside area both next to the terminal and further out towards Vinukovo settlement. The oldest of the Vinukovo passenger terminals, dating back to 1941, will be demolished by the time construction of the new one goes ahead it started to be dismantled in November 2005. The existing domestic Terminal 2, built in the late 1970s, will continue in operation until its eventual demolition during the final phase of construction and replacement with the new terminal. The expansion plans include lengthening one of the two V-configured runways 3,000 meters 9,800 feet and 3,060 meters 10,040 feet long to 3,800 meters 12,500 feet and upgrading the instrument landing system from the present CAT-2 to CAT-3. The existing taxiways are to be extended as part of the expansion and new ones will also be built, along with a brand new control tower, an extension to the cargo terminal, and a multi-story car park. <laughs> Terminals Terminal A is the only terminal used both for domestic and international flights. Terminals B and D are out of service as of October 2017. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Airlines and destinations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Passenger. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Cargo. Topic Statistics Topic Annual Traffic Topic Ground Transportation Topic Rail AeroExpress direct line connects Vinukovo Airport and Kievsky Rail Terminal in Moscow city center was opened on August 2005. One-way journey costs 500 rubles, 420 rubles for online purchase as of November 2017. The journey takes 35 minutes. Topic: <laughs> Bus. 
Moscow City can be reached by the municipal Moscow Trans bus lines. 611 reaches two consecutive stations, Troperiovo and Yugo Zapadnaya, of Moscow Metro Sokolnicheskaya line. 611K, Russian. 611K reaches only the nearest Salaryevo station of Moscow Metro Sokolnicheskaya line, but avoids the often congested crossing with MKAD Road. Nearby Rumyantsevo station is only easily accessible on the way to the airport, not away from it. The fare is 50 rubles as of September 2016 EQ to 0 0.77 US dollar travel time 20 to 35 minutes by schedule Private Marshrutka line 45 also serves this direction one way journey costs 150 rubles as of February 2016 EQ to 2 dollars Due to heavy traffic in Moscow journey takes 15 minutes to 1 hour Topic. Taxi Several taxi services to Moscow city and suburbs are available at the airport. Uber, Get, Yandex, taxi and local transportation network companies offer flat rate trips to anywhere in Moscow. Topic. Metro After 2020, the government of Moscow plans a future expansion of Metro Line 8 which will go from the Raskazovka station to Vinukovo with one station between them. Should the plan be approved, this will be the first ever Moscow airport to be directly connected by a Metro Line. Other facilities Previously Vinukovo Airlines had its head office at the airport. Topic: Ownership. The airport is co-owned by the Russian state and Russian businessman Vitaly Vontsev and his partners. In March 2018, Qatar Airways announced plans buy a 25% stake in Vinukovo Airport. Accidents and incidents On 21 December 1943, a Lisanov Li-2 crashed while on a training flight due to a defect in the left rear fuel tank. On 4 March 1944, Douglas C-47A crashed into a Bell P-39Q Aerocobra on the ground while attempting to execute a go-around. On 5 November 1946, Douglas C-47B crashed after the crew decided to go around some 300 meters 980 feet past a landing sign. The aircraft was flying low and engine power was sharply increased. The aircraft went into a steep climb, lost speed and crashed 600 meters 2,000 feet from the landing sign. On 5 November 1946, an Aeroflot Lithuania Lisanov Li-2 crashed due to fuel exhaustion after repeated approach attempts while in a holding pattern. On 1 July 1947, an Aeroflot Ilyushin Il-12 crashed after the left engine failed on takeoff, causing a loss of airspeed. On 29 March 1951, an Aeroflot Ilyushin Il-12P crashed during which the right propeller struck the top of a radio tower. On 14 June 1957, an Ilyushin Il-14P operating lot Polish Airlines Flight 232 crashed after the crew did not follow instruction to use an instrument approach. On 4 November 1957, an Ilyushin Il-14P belonging to the Romanian government crashed on approach in the fog. On 2 September 1959, an Ilyushin Il-18B suffered significant structural damage, forcing it to make an emergency landing. The aircraft was written off. On 23 October 1959, Aeroflot Flight 200 crashed in a forest on approach and was destroyed by fire, killing 28 of the 29 people aboard. On 26 August 1969, an Aeroflot Ilyushin Il-18B crashed after the crew forgot to lower the landing gear, killing 16 passengers. On 10 October 1971, Aeroflot Flight 773 crashed shortly after takeoff when an explosive device on board detonated, killing all 25 people aboard. 
On 3 January 1976, Aeroflot Flight 2003, a Tupolev Tu 124, crashed 7 kilometres west of Vinukovo Airport after both artificial horizons failed in IMC. On 17 March 1979, Aeroflot Flight 1691 crashed 1.5 kilometres away from the runway while attempting to return to the airport. On 2 June 1980, a Soviet Air Force Antonov and 22 a suffered an in-flight fire and crashed short of the runway. On 16 January 2010, Uter Boeing 737-500 VQ BAC departed the runway on landing and was substantially damaged when the nosewheel collapsed. On 4 December 2010, Southeast Airlines Flight 372, which had departed from Vinukovo, lost power to all of its engines and made an emergency landing at Domodedovo International Airport. Upon landing, the plane overshot the runway, resulting in a crash and the death of two of the 168 passengers and crew. On 29 December 2012, a Red Wings 2 204 overran the runway. The aircraft burst into flames and broke into three pieces. At least five people were killed. On 20 October 2014, a Dassault Falcon 50 collided on takeoff with a snowplow, killing all four people on board, including the CEO of Total SA Oil and Gas Company Christophe de Marjorie. See also Domodedovo International Airport Sheremetyevo International Airport List of the busiest airports in Russia List of the busiest airports in the former USSR List of the busiest airports in Europe